sneaky game of the week. I know we've got a primetime game that I think has that moniker, but maybe this is uh, numero dos, 1A, 1B with the game of the week, Cowboys and Eagles. Look ahead here, Philly minus three and a half. We saw a little movement there towards the road underdog now sitting at a flat three. Guys, Dallas looked really good off the bye against the Rams. Philly looked really good muscling around Miami. Um, it, do, I, do I sense any indecision in the market here amongst pros heading into the week? Chris, I'll start with you here as we uh, are all kind of playing this game in some capacity. Uh, I'm a little bit worried because I haven't uh, heard uh, anybody really on Philadelphia. Everybody seems to kind of like Dallas. So that kind of, uh, you know, makes me wonder a little bit sometimes. Uh, my model has uh, Dallas is the better t- Better, you know, better situation here. Um, I, I, I've, I've, I've done some creative things on this game, but I do like the uh, the plus three. I think that uh, Hertz is injured, uh, or at least banged up a little bit. Uh, Dallas, uh, they travel okay on the road. Uh, these both of these teams can uh, fare well on the road. And I think it, I think you have to take the points in this situation. These teams are evenly matched. Uh, again, I have a teaser item on this also tied in with uh, New Orleans uh, minus a half and uh, Cleveland minus one and a three-team teaser that is plus, pays you plus money of 130. So I have Dallas plus the three and I have the three-team teaser. Uh, you have to get to the 10. On that Dallas teaser, though, uh, if you're going to follow along with what I did. Yeah, I think it's going to be a very entertaining game. You know, having watched those uh, Philly-Washington games, why not the same here? We're both sides going up and down the field. (laughs) 46 seems like a low total to me, so I'm on the over 46. Um, I also would lean towards Dallas. I only have Philly one point better, and home field, like we've discussed, it's not even worth one and a half in a divisional game. So I'll lean with that. And this is a case where, you know, I don't want to just make a bet that's like break even. So playing plus three, lay a dollar 10. I'm like, meh. But like bet us right now has Dallas plus three, lay one Oh five. Well, that makes all the difference. At minus one Oh five. Yeah. I certainly would, would go ahead and invest in Dallas. I think that's going to be as good a number as you're likely going to get on this game. So uh strong lean to Dallas and uh, up over 46 as a play. Do we think, the quick follow-up, Fez, do we think this will be pros on Dallas, uh, Joes on Philly, or do you think it'll be kind of the opposite? I would think both would be on Dallas, frankly. Everyone's on I'm, Dallas here. I, if, you're, um, if you're going to get involved in the New Orleans game, you better do that immediately. It's it's climbing. So, uh, uh, oh, urgency. I'm glad I already got those bets. Urgency alert. Pro- probably some urgency bad news alert. on fields that because there was a chance that he would play. I'm just probably. guessing. Good point. Yeah, I, I agree with your take on the over, though, Steve. I mean, it, you look at this Eagles defense. I was surprised when I was looking at some of the Eagles defensive numbers this year. They are way lower than I expected. So I know Dallas can be a little more volatile defensively. Fantastic pass rush, but not as great in the secondary. But the Eagles at all levels seem to be, except for against the run. And let's be honest, Dallas doesn't run very traditionally. I mean, their running game is Pollard out of the backfield, and they got these little gadgets. So I think this game has a chance to have some fireworks to it. Uh, Chris is going to take the points with Dallas. Fez and I are betting over 46 on Philly and Dallas. Should be a really fun one. Uh, could set the pace for the NFC East. Again, right now we're kind of crowning the Eagles as the champs because of what they did last year. But they've shown some some chinks in the armor. And this could be a spot where Dallas maybe reaches up and takes control of that division as we move forward. <laughs>